So, without further ado, I'm going to give you your Charleston Jazz Orchestra. Charleston Jazz Orchestra started out in 2008. Crazy kids that we were, we thought it would be great to launch a, a full 17 to 20 piece big band at the beginning of the recession. <laughs> it started out as the Charlton Singleton Orchestra and we did music that was associated with the Low Country. We got this crazy idea to continue it on and, and have a season and that's how the Charleston Jazz Orchestra, we basically just changed the name. It just made sense for us to have an ensemble that devoted itself to that music. Ten years later, here we are. About 80% of the orchestra have been there since day one. When I look back on it, his band, uh, the band that I've played with um, for years was the core group that the ensemble was built around. Quentin Baxter on drums, Kevin Hamilton on bass, Tommy Gill on piano, Charlton Singleton on trumpet, and I played the saxophone. There had been a few big band gigs here or there in town. Just right from the beginning, Charlton just asked me to play lead alto. So I've really grown to appreciate just the relationships with members of the band. We've been together for so long. For example, the sax section, the four of the five people in the section have been here for every show. Charlton and I have been making jokes and faces at each other on stage for a decade. One of the biggest influences on the Charleston Jazz Orchestra, as a matter of fact, the the visionary of the group was Mr. Jack McRae. Without his vision and his effort in producing our very first show, we wouldn't have an ensemble. I even remember talking with him after a performance prior to the start of all this and saying how one of my bucket list things to do was to, was to play Duke Ellington's Nutcracker Suite with the big band and how great it would be to have a big band. And he just looked at me and said, it's coming. Because he was already planning it, his drive, his vision, his hard work, his own money was responsible for getting us started. You know, pretty remarkable. When we do performances now, just like from day one, we've always had a theme. But now, instead of going out and buying you know, a stock chart or, or something that everybody's already heard before, it's exciting to have the musicians that are in the band and in the in the you know jazz community that are able to write these fantastic arrangements and so the audience comes in and it's almost like they're having it's basically having a world premiere of something every show i like performing with the guests but my favorite concerts are the ones where we're doing more of the work where we're shouldering the load I'm so very grateful to be a member of the Charleston Jazz Orchestra and, and play some of the music that I grew up listening to and just dreaming about performing.
For the first six years of Charleston Jazz, we really focused on performance. Over the last three and a half, we've really expanded that to include jazz education. Another program we've done is the Jazz Day for Kids. This year, we're going to be taking 1,600 elementary school kids to the Gilliard to see the Charleston Jazz Orchestra. In 2017, we launched the new Charleston Jazz Academy. Another thing that we do every year as part of the Jazz Festival, we run an all-star jazz youth orchestra. So area music directors choose their best jazz performers at the high school level, and we bring them all together to perform on Family Day at the Jazz Festival. Well, I believe over the last few decades, uh, and Charleston Jazz has really been a part of this, has been a renaissance of sorts of the arts, of the cultural arts in Charleston. I find music and the arts to be an inspiration, appeals to everyone and brings people together and causes collaboration. Jazz particularly, improvising together is, is in fact collaboration. I have given you my true love, but you love a new love. What am I supposed to do now with you? So there's so many themes of, um, of uh, positivity and unity and inspiration for our community by having a vibrant cultural arts scene. Oh man, what am I looking forward to? Uh, dancing, the next downbeat. To continue to celebrate the music of the past as well as a repertory ensemble. <laughs> I'm a professional musician. <laughs> I'm always ready to play, so the next concert is what excites me. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the Charleston Jazz Orchestra. <laughs> Yada, yada, yada. We're very grateful for all the many contributions that Charlton Singleton has given this organization. And we're also very much looking forward to working with Robert Lewis and seeing all the wonderful talent and expertise he's going to bring to the performances.